When you hear the name of Alexander Calder, what do you think of? Abstract hanging mobile sculpture immediately comes to mind. Kinetic mobiles were only a portion of Calder's vast body of work. He also painted in oils and created wall sculpture and stationary pieces that he called stabiles. If you'd like to take a look at Calder's stabiles and other works, visit the Calder Foundation at calder.org. He worked in a variety of materials, plastic, wood, and steel, but the project I'm going to show you today introduces a new material called taskboard. Architects and 3D designers who create models are familiar with this product. Taskboard is a natural wood-based product made from sustainable resources. This is not cardboard, though you certainly can cut it with scissors or with a craft knife very easily. It doesn't warp, but when it's dampened, it can be bent. And the cool part is, the bends stay in place when they're dry. Here, let me show you how to do this. I have a piece here that's been cut with a sponge, or you could use a spritz bottle to do this as well. Dampen the task board on the front side and on the back side where you want to make the bend. Then, very gently move it where you want it to go. Warning, there's a limit to the pressure that it withstands. Move a little too quickly, press a little too firmly, and you might get a crack in it. If you do, don't worry. I'm going to show you in a minute how you can fix that. Now, I could take some rubber bands or paper clips and wrap this around something like a coffee can or a pop bottle and allow the water to evaporate. It would take about an hour. But what I like to do is to use a hair dryer on a low setting and aim it right on the damp part, inside and outside. And in just minutes, it's dry enough to hold that bend. Now you could start with a sketch or a paper maquette just to help you plan. I've gone ahead and bent my pieces already, just like I showed you with the hair dryer. Now I'm ready to start assembling. You could cut a slit in each piece and then assemble them together like that, or you could just bond the pieces together with glue. White glue works pretty well, but you may want to use hot glue or perhaps Sobo glue if you want to get a really strong bond. I have a piece right over here that's already bonded together. And you can see how even on the very edges it can be bonded together. Okay, now here's the part where I promised to tell you how to fix cracks and frays. If you look at the very edge of this piece that I have here, task board does tend to fray, especially when you get into small areas. Easily fix. Just bring the Sobo glue out again, cover the area, making sure you get the sides as well, push it back together and it's fixed. And I saw a crack on this piece that I had over here. Now because Taskboard is a wood-based product, it can be sanded down with sandpaper. And if necessary, you can fill the cracks with a little bit more glue. But you can see, just a little bit of sanding takes care of that crack. I also like to smooth the edges down a little bit too. And it's always a good idea, anytime you're working with airborne particles, no matter what material you're using, to put on a particle mask. Now this sculpture here is ready to paint. Task board can be finished with any water-based or solvent-based paint or stain. If you examine Calder's color choices in sculpture, you'll notice that they're very, very basic. He considered color to be secondary to form. So that's why I've chosen some basic primary colors here. I am using Blick Acrylic, student grade acrylic paints. I'm going to give it a couple of coats. It covers very, very well at first but I want to make sure that it's very smooth and that the, my brush strokes don't show. So I would allow this to dry, coat the whole thing, allow it to dry, and then come back and give it a second coat. Then, as an option, on a final finish, you might want to have a gloss coating. Use an acrylic varnish, such as this Liquitex flexible varnish. Now just a couple more things. This piece that you see over here is made with a lighter weight of taskboard. It's easier to cut, but it does make a more flexible sculpture. 
The piece that I have right here is made with the heavier weight of task board. It makes a little bit more rigid sculpture. Let's take a look at some of these finished stabiles, shall we? The one on the back wall incorporates some shapes suspended with copper wire. The one up here on the table merges stabile sculpture with a mobile for the total Calder experience. Now, task board is a great medium for sculpture. And if you want to know more about this product and many other sculpture materials, visit dickblick.com. If you wish to print out the instructions and materials for this lesson plan, we have an easy to view PDF for you to download there as well. Thanks for watching and enjoy making your stabiles.